In this video, we're going to talk about sexual differentiation, that is formation of testes for males and ovary for females in the fetal development. In 6 to 8 weeks of fetal development, it occurs. At this time, bipotential gonads are present, wolfian and ducts are present, which are precursor of male reproductive organs, and the Mullerian duct, that is precursor for fallopian tube for females, is present, and the cloaca, which will form the urethra. Now, we are talking about male fetus, that is having X and Y as sex chromosomes. At first, we will look into the chromosome number 9, which is an autosome, which has, has a gene called SF1 gene, which will produce SF1 protein. By transcription and translation. And the Y chromosome having a gene, that is why, that is SRY gene which will produce SRY protein. These proteins SF1 and SRY will make a complex which is a DNA binding protein. In chromosome number 17 the gene present is SOX9 gene and the complex made by SF1 and SRY will bind to the SOX9 gene at the position of enhan enhancing region that will enhance the production of the protein by the SOX9 gene. It will produce more SOX9 protein which will develop primary sex cords that will form seminiferous tubules in future. Seminiferous tubules have two types of cells, Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. These two types of cells will produce different hormones that will help in, help in male reproductive organs formation. The Leydig cells will produce will produce testosterone, and the Sertoli cells will produce AMH, that is anti-Mullerian hormone. This anti-Mullerian hormone present for male individual will destroy the Mullerian duct, which are, which is a precursor of fallopian tube for female. So it so AMH destroys the Mullerian duct. And the testosterone released by the Leydig cell will affect on Wolfian duct and develop the male reproductive organs that is vas deferens, epididymis, etc. And also develop the testis from bipotential gonads. Now the testis is formed, the Wolfian duct has developed the epididymis and the cloaca has differentiated into urethra. And the, the urethra is longer for male. And now the testis will come out of the abdominal cavity and surrounded by the scrotum. And the urethra is surrounded by the penis. And epididymis is as, as present and testis. Now we will look into the female di sex differentiation. In the 6 to 8 weeks of fetal development, it has a bipotential gonads, Wolfian ducts, that is precursor of male reproductive organs, and the Mullerian duct, which is the precursor of female reproductive organs, that is fallopian tube, and the cloaca, which will from, form the uh, urethra and urinary bladder. The chromosome number 9, having the SF1 gene, that is an autosomal gene, which will present in both male and female forms the SF1 protein and female having two X chromosomes and X chromosome have a gene which will produce DAX1 protein for male it has one for female it has two and this DAX protein will make a complex with SF1 protein and binds to the SOX9 gene and repressor region and represses the production of SOX9 gene protein and very very less SOX9 protein is produced so no testis is present, no testosterone and no AMH and so Mullerian duct is not destroyed. In case of males, one DAX1 came from the one X chromosome present in male is suppressed by the SRY present in Y chromosome. And from chromosome number 1, there is a gene 
WNT4 gene which will form a WNT4 protein that will that will develop the ovary inside the ovary follicular cells and theca cells and as a result ovarian follicle is formed it will produce estrogen hormone that will help the mullerian duct to develop into female reproductive organs especially the fallopian tube and in absence of tes testosterone the wolfian duct is destroyed it cannot make anything without the testosterone and the tes and the bipartition gonad has become ovary the fellow on the mullerian duct has become fallopian tube and the cloaca has formed urethra the ovary the fallopian tube now their urethral opening and vaginal opening are different for females i have shown one opening for simplicity but for females it's two different openings